Hello, this is Michael Jillian. Today I'll be doing a comparison review between the La Potato and the Renegade single board computers made by Liberty Computer. As you know, the Raspberry Pi 4 has been extremely hard to come by. In fact, every Raspberry Pi board is basically hard to come by, unless you're willing to pay the prices by the scalpers. And if you watch Linus' recent videos, he gave a bunch of alternatives. Linus did recommend that we should get the Orange Pi 4 as an alternative. He says the Orange Pi 3 is $35, the LTS version. But when I check the prices for the Orange Pi 4 LTS, when you check the Orange Pi 3 LTS, you'll see it's $61. The 3A version is also $54. It does come with accessories such as the power adapter and the case, but it's hardly worth $25 more because of it. On Amazon, the Liberty computer for the 2GB version is only $4, $40 for the Renegade, and $50 for the 4GB version. The La Potato is even cheaper at $35, and if you get the 1GB version 30, the 2GB 2-pack, I guess will be 69 which is basically $35. Being as this is the cheapest alternative, I'm going to do some review on this. As to which board you should get, it really depends on what you want to do with it. The La Potato officially has 8 supported systems, whereas the Renegade has 7. Both of them have SD card slots, so you see right here, they have SD card slots. This one has an eMMC module slot, however, uh, it doesn't have a screw to hold it down. And this one also has an eMMC module slot, but it does have a screw to hold it down. So if that makes a difference to you, then great. However, I will, I will let you know. That the MMC cards can cost more than your actual computer. The 16 gigabyte for $40 and the 64 for 59 and so on, not worth it. However, um, it might be worth getting one of these. I'm pretty sure that would work on both, but officially it's only for the La Potato. Uh, this is a heatsink. However, you could just buy something like this and just put it on each one individually. They are sticky and or over here for $10. Um, you know, there are a bunch of them out there. Now you could watch each one of the videos that I made on each uh, system separately, but I did test every single system that was available on these on these uh, single board computers. So um, here are the results that I came out with. First of all, all the Renegade, uh, it was the, all the fonts were smaller. That's first of all, just the default fonts when you're turning on the computer were smaller. If that bothers you, the La Potato had a little bit of a bigger font, um, so that was nice. Uh, secondly, uh, is that all of them after you shut them down, they would restart. Uh, and they would just restart again. So even though you shut it down, it would restart, which was annoying. So that's two things that were annoying. Second, uh, the third thing is that um, Android didn't work on any of them. I tried Android and it did not work. Um, so there's that. Uh, let's talk about Ubuntu. Ubuntu worked well on both of them, but it was slow. The internet worked well. It was able to install the Wi-Fi card that I had, uh, but it was slow on both of them. Uh, Armbian worked really well on both of them, but the Wi-Fi card that I had didn't work. However, if you hardwire it, it could be that it will work better. Um, so that was uh, that. was that. Raspbian, both of them worked. The light and the, um, the command line interface version and the desktop version both worked, but we couldn't connect to the internet and uh, it was giving trouble, even though I believe that the, that the Wi-Fi adapter may have installed. Um, so there was that. You can watch the video on that separately. On La Potato, Laka did work on Renegade and it did not work on the La Potato, so keep that in mind. It just didn't work. I wasn't able to get it started up, uh, so that was annoying. Um, Libriolec worked on both of them, uh, but for the Renegade, only one of the versions worked. Um, so make sure you, uh, I think it was the the beta version that worked on the Libri on uh, Libriolec for the Renegade. The La Potato, both Libriolec versions worked on the La Potato, the Night build and the Stable build. Um, Let's talk about uh, Corelec. Now, um, Corelec works on the La Potato. There is no system on the Renegade for the Corelec. So uh, if you want to run Corelec, I would definitely recommend it. Um, on the website, it says don't use Libriolec anymore. It's outdated. You're just better off using Corelec. Just to mention another thing, that Debian does not have anything, uh, any images available right now. I checked it. It just wasn't, didn't have any, and Android didn't work for any of them. So keep that in mind. Librialex official eMMC module is actually out of stock. So it could be that one will be cheaper, but uh, I don't know because it's out of stock. Now the SD cards on the bottom, the way both of them work is that they click in like this and they come out. I'll show you with the other one as well. They click in. Um, I don't know if it supports 128 gigabytes, but it definitely supports 32 gigabytes. Um, I checked the website, couldn't find any information on that. Uh, both of them have the eMMC like I showed you before. Uh, both of them do have an IR receiver. I believe this is an IR receiver over here. I think that's what it is, at least. Um, this one also has it. It looks a little bit different on the La Potato. Looks like that. 
Um, and otherwise, uh, both of them are pretty good boards. Um, they both have their uses, I guess, uh, reasons why you'd buy, not buy. Uh, if you're looking for fast transfer speeds and you're writing your own program, perhaps uh, the USB 3.0 or something like that uh, would be more ideal. Otherwise, uh, I thank you for watching. And uh, one other thing is, these came out around six years ago, five years ago. So keep that in mind, um, <clears throat> it is an old board meant to compete with the Raspberry Pi 3, and this was meant to compete with the first model of the Raspberry Pi 4. And even then, um, it was it's the lower end version of it. So don't try to, you know, don't think that it's going to be too good. Uh, they both work on USB, um, micro USB for power. So keep that in mind. Um, and uh, yeah, I don't think there's, uh, originally this was $60 and this was more. So I think that's it. Um, there are a lot of other good stuff you could do with them. And uh, as you could see, as you could imagine people come up with a lot of good things. It's something called DAC board and you can use it as a, as a virtual calendar. Some people were able to use it as a VPN using OpenVPN. Linus said that it came with a USB dongle, but that's only if you buy like the $60 version, which is not really worth it. It comes with a heatsink, but um, honestly, I'll just spend the $35 and buy the heatsink for $5 to $10. There are some tutorials of people uh, installing uh, other hardware, for example, newer versions of Raspbian on the Raspberry Pi. However, uh, it's complicated and I wouldn't buy one with the intention of doing that, um, especially with something that is a little bit outdated, um, unless you really don't have the money to spend. Uh, then maybe, but otherwise, uh, here are the five systems that are available, and really there are more, um, but this one has Android 7, which is interesting, um, because the one that I saw was Android 8. Anyway, thank you for watching. I really hope this helped you make your decision, and uh, as Linus said before, it's an alternative, but I think Linus is wrong, actually, because um, at the end of the day, I think the La Potato uh, is better than the Renegade, and he made it sound like it wasn't. So I would definitely go with uh, the, uh, the La Potato, and especially since the uh, Orange Pi is not available anymore. I would definitely go with the La Potato over the Renegade, even though it's a few gigabytes more. Uh, Coralec works on it, and a few other systems just run a little bit smoother on it. Uh, if you want to see my other videos to see how smoothly it runs, um, definitely let me know. I would love to hear about it. And uh, I appreciate all the work Linus does, but uh, he missed one on this because at the end of the day, the orange pie is not available, and I think the lap potato is a better value all over. Thank you.